Hi, I'm William Tenholder. I've been playing for over 50 years and won thousands of games worldwide, online and in competition, and I would like to invite you to my 2000 Master Series, which is really about having a game plan. And you're going to see game plan A, B, C, D, E, and F. You're going to see all these different plans that we should have ready. As a master player, we, we know that, right? We have to have a plan. What's the plan? So let's go ahead. Well, my plan is definitely obvious. I like this. I discovered this D6 move. Uh, I really love it for black. And uh, so my plan is d6 and then uh, knight out to f6 eventually. Uh, there it goes. So you start out with plan A, right? Plan A, successful. And you know, this is easy to do. Take a snapshot. I suggest every player that's playing black try this system. It's better than the French it's better than any other Sicilian too complicated. This is easy. Okay. Plan A completed. We end up with, you know, a really nice position. The knight is out. It's a lot easier than the French. Uh, it's a lot easier than the Sicilian. And you're developed, right? So now <clears throat> you get to plan B, C, D. So what are your next plans? Well, attack would be plan B, right? Attack. So now plan C is to draw out the king's guards. This is the beauty of this uh, uh, pin, is that you can just pull out all the pawns and weaken their position. So there's plan C. And now we go on to the next plan, which is to eliminate any of their active pieces. Okay, so now I've moved the queen, which may uh, force the bishop to take my uh, knight. Let's see. Yes. So there's plan D. It worked perfectly. We take out that bishop. And... Uh, so now they come in. Uh, yeah, the next plan is defense because once you get somebody into your territory, you, you need to deal with it. Okay, so deal with the threats. And so we do deal with the threats. Uh, they've got another threat. Obviously, they want to pin the queen on the king here. Uh, so you have to deal with that threat. And um, so as it turns out, we can deal with the threat if they do it. We have the pawn, we have the knight. Uh, so no problem there. Now, we're looking for the tricks, right? Uh, plan E. Let's say we're at plan E. E, we want to find a way to gain some pieces. And sometimes that means taking the queen. So now we're getting ready for a pin. Uh, right, we have the possibility of x-ray attacks. So uh, now the next... Most important plan is the castle. And so, yeah, we'll, we'll call that plan E. Um, sometimes castle comes earlier. Uh, now we, we're looking for any way to gain pieces. Now I see an opportunity here. And this would be plan F. Yep. Yep. Pin that pawn. It's an x-ray attack on the queen and the king. Okay. So now we're getting into 
you know, other master plans, uh, they come in to protect the pawn, and we go in for an attack, right? So we're already getting deep into the alphabet. <laughs> Plan G, <laughs> attack. <laughs> and so uh, now um, it's just creating uh, opportunities. There's a perfect opportunity right there to attack the king. They have to defend. Uh, now we've got a pin on the rook. And so I'll go uh, a little faster here. So you can see um, the beauty of this is, uh, you know, their uh, solution is to attack my queen. And I'm like, really? Okay, well, then I'll take your knight. So, all of this effort resulted in the gain of a piece, but also threatens to take the rook in the corner. So, the rook has to move. Knight takes the pawn, attacking the queen. And guess what, folks? That is... Checkmate. Beautiful. Beautiful game. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you were able to hang in to see plan G. Good work pays off in chess. Enjoy your chess. I'm William Tenholder, and I love chess.